Hi everybody, Jonathan here, and today we're going to look at something a little bit different. We're going to take a little bit of a look at some of the new artificial intelligence sort of image generation software and how you can use this with Vectorworks to potentially enhance your workflow. Maybe it's useful for generating some early stage ideas and just some concepts that you might not have thought of. So this is my first time using this sort of software and experimenting a bit, and I just wanted to share that journey with you. It'd be interesting to know what you think, and it was certainly good fun to make. So I do hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching as ever, and if you're new around here, please like and subscribe, and I'd love to see you join the channel. Thanks for watching, and today I just wanted to try out um, some artificial intelligence and see how it can generate some images from both Vectorworks, but also using uh, Midjourney, which I'm sure many of you have heard about. So what I'm going to do is simply basically go to my um, image here of a new project I've got and basically generate a quick image. I'm intrigued to see how this will work. So what I'm going to do is basically just generate a little snapshot. So I'm just going to create an image file there and right click and let's just open this file in preview just for a moment. Okay, so the very first step is to save this image as uh, a JPEG basically. So what I'm also going to do is just crop this. Let's go ahead. So we'll crop the image and basically let's save this as our first image, our first image source. So we'll save it as a JPEG. I've got a little folder here where I'm just going to make um, a new kind of what I call blend as well. So let's make a little folder here. Let's call this blend for. Okay, so let's call this uh, VW1. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is basically um, really look for a opportunity to place this into a landscape. So we're going to go down to our Discord server. You can see I've been playing around with a few images already. And I think the first thing is I'm just basically going to go to my Imagine prompt and basically type in um, a landscape that I'm looking for. So I think we'll go for a forest with open grassy meadows. Let's just see how that works and see what it generates for us to begin with. Okay, and I'm just intrigued to see how long this will take. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll have a look at how we can combine our new Vectorworks um, sort of image with that using a new mode called Blend. Okay, so as you can see, Midjourney has started to generate some AI uh, interactive images that will refine a little bit more as we go through. Now, I'm definitely going to want to change the prompt and make these a bit more realistic. Um, so I think that's something that I'll have to have a look at in a second as well. But let's just go for it. Let's just say we quite like to choose one of these landscapes. Oh, that looks really cool, actually. Um, right, okay. I think out of all of those, I think I quite like the one. Oh, gosh, they're all very nice. Let's go for this one. Okay, so if we want to take this view and upscale, basically that will be upscaling view one, two, three that one there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and upscale that image. Now the upscaling can take a little bit longer um, once you generate this. And then once we've got that image, I'll show you how we can blend this with our new Vectorworks model and see what results we might get. Successfully upscaled. Um, here we could make variations, we could do a light upscale and so on as well. But basically I'm pretty happy with the image. Um, so I'm just going to open up this and basically let's just shut that and save that image. As you can see, it's just kind of like a lower resolution image. So sometimes you just need to open it in the browser window. Okay, so here we can see the image in my browser window. So now I can right click and save that as basically, let's go into my blending folder four and let's just call this landscape. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is the exciting bit. We're ready to actually do a blend between those two. And I can honestly say this is the first time I've done this with a Vectorworks file. So let's go for blend. I'm going to go to my uh, desktop, if you like, and find those images that I just created. And all we're going to do is blend the landscape, which was obviously a mid-January generated landscape, with our Vectorworks model there. So we've got these two. Let's go for it and click return and see how this kind of comes out. So if you've not used mid-journey before, it's really easy to do. Um, just go onto the mid-journey website and it will kind of give you all the instructions in how to add this to your Discord. Um, and I've actually created a separate channel for this, which is something that I quite like to do. And gem generally what's nice is within this, I can now create sort of various sort of channels to experiment with um, 
new mid-journey generated images. So this is quite exciting. I'm keen to see what it's going to do with my uh, vector, its concept and this new landscape. You will notice that the previews generally kind of come in quite cartoony at the beginning, but then they suddenly sort of start to look a lot more realistic as things develop. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Um, it's definitely changed the design quite a bit. Um, it's kind of come up with quite a cartoony kind of style. So if I do want to, I can actually take a version that I quite like the look of. I think I'll take this one too and do another version. So I click V2. And what that will actually do is make some variations of this particular image as opposed to the other ones that uh, I could have selected as well. So we'll come back in a minute, we'll have a look at these variations and see how these look. And now this has basically returned uh, a new upscaled image of both my um, Vectorworks model, although it's changed it quite a bit, into the sort of mid-journey generated landscape. We can save that image um, and let's just save that into our folder as the result. What's interesting is we can also generate some new variations. So I've clicked on the variations button. You can see that those were the original four and these are the next four. So I can basically have a look into this and see if any of these are a bit sort of closer to what I was hoping for. Um, so yeah, I think some of these images look quite nice. I do like this courtyard one here. So I'm going to choose to upscale that one. So the good thing with mid journey, you can just basically keep generating different variations until it gets a bit closer to what you're looking for. Um, but yeah, very impressive for my very first ever time combining a Vectorworks project with a mid-journey generated landscape. So I'm definitely keen to show you some of the other combinations that I've come up with during this little process as well. And what I'll do, I'll kind of review these um, towards the end of the video. So let's have a look at those as well. Try this one more time with another Imagine prompt. Basically, this time I'm going to do a modern building sitting near beach with sunny day. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's just see. Okay, see what for us. And then what I'm going to do is see if I can blend that with another Vectorworks image. So I'm going to go back into my Vectorworks project. Uh, this time, I'm going to kind of go for more of a sort of front view of the project here and just sort of see how that works. So let's get a nice kind of perspective view there. So we'll go ahead and get this prepared, ready for mid-journey. Okay, so we'll just open that in preview once again and let's just save that into our project. So the little beep indicates that mid-journey is done. Let's just call this VW2. Okay, let's pop back to um, our Discord server. Okay, so it's definitely generated um, some images for us. So I like the landscape, but definitely not keen on the building. Um, so I think I'm probably going to refine this prompt and actually say remove the building. So basically, let's just copy this prompt here and let's basically start a new Imagine. So we'll do that one. We'll do Basically, let's just type um, no building, no buildings, um, site sitting near beach on sunny day. Okay, cool. Let's just see what comes back in a moment from that generated prompt. And then we'll blend that with our new project of our Vectorwitz project and see what we can come up with. Now, the thing about Mid Journey is, and all these AI bots, um, really, they're just really great at generating ideas and images. And I think that's the key to it. It's a bit like flicking through a book. Um, if you can basically come up with some concepts and ideas, then as an architect, you can actually develop those ideas into something meaningful. But don't expect it to actually come up with um, any kind of really meaningful buildings necessarily. It might just come up with some nice concepts that inspire you to take it a bit further. Now, interesting how it's actually still showing the buildings. So I'm going to try this one more time. Um, let's just call it landscape only. So landscape near beach on a sunny day with cloudy skies. Let's try that. I'm intrigued to see how it generates this image. I've asked for no buildings um, that didn't work. So I'm trying just to see if we can generate just the landscape on its own. So I think the thing with um, all these AI bots is in my experience, you're really going to have to basically play around with the prompts 
Um, and keep kind of playing until you kind of get something that's closer to what you're imagining. But, you know, the great thing about them is they definitely will prompt you with some ideas that you wouldn't have thought of. And I think if I can see a value in it, that is the whole point. It might just come up with a bit of a seed of an idea that will spark something in you that is actually really interesting. Okay, so remember to actually go through and click imagine first, otherwise it doesn't know that that's the prompt. All right, so let's just have a little catch up on um, some of the images that I've been generating. So these are some of the images that I generated from the uh, first prompt. Now these came up a little bit kind of cartoony and I wasn't too happy with the skies being so cloudy. So I thought I'd try that again. I came up with another set of variations that were maybe a bit more realistic. Um, in the end, I generated one which was looking for clear skies. Still got quite a cloudy sky, but you know, I was pretty happy with the image itself. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically go through and choose the blend. And let's take our couple of images there. So we'll open up blend four. Okay, and we've got the realistic landscape there that we just created. And we're going to go through to our Vectorwitz model uh, project two here. And let's go for it. Let's just see how these blend together and see what it comes up with. Um, it's come up with some interesting kind of concepts, definitely. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll choose one to upscale. I think out of all of these, I prefer probably this one. So let's go for it. Let's upscale that one and see how the final image comes out. As I've said, I think with Mid Journey at this stage, the results are very interesting and I'm sure with um, refinement and prompts we could kind of get much better images, but it really is just a bit of a shortcut to idea generation. Um, and I think it you know, would be interesting to then develop these designs and sort of take them down uh, the architectural route in terms of actually doing some 3D modeling and maybe visualization with twin motion. But you're never really gonna get the level of control that you would get from your CAD or 3D rendering software. Um, but I think, you know, there's still definitely a place for integrating Mid Journey into your workflow. If nothing else, it's certainly good fun to try and it will generate a lot of images very rapidly for you. So let me know what you think of the video and the option to integrate AI into Vectorworks and if that's something you would like to see. Um, but there's a little kind of trick on workflow that we can get from our Vectorworks project into Mid Journey. And I'll be trying a few more of these videos as well and I'll let you know how we get on. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching everybody.